Cassandra Carlyle. And my whole life, I've been told to behave like a gently bred lady. Ah, here's my girl. Good morning. You look lovely today. What in God's name are you wearing? No, no, dear. Leave the girl be. Leave her be? She looks like a stable boy. After breakfast, I want you to go to your room and get rid of the switches. And that ridiculous man showed you wearing. My mother never really was the most supportive of my wardrobe. <laughs> will be the social death of me. I don't know how your father can tolerate seeing you like this. No, no. She looks perfectly fine to me. She's 18, in case you have not noticed. And she's overdue for her first season in London. And now it's time to offer me like a sacrificial lamb to the highest bidder at the marriage of Maud. This is the boy I want to marry, but of course, Things aren't always that simple. Elaine, where is that sister of yours? Cassie! She's here! Well, I haven't seen her since I got back. Well, she's probably hiding around here somewhere. You know how she loathes attending these balls, I'm sure. <coughs> Bridget? Say hello to Cassie. <coughs> what? Piglet? See what I mean? <laughs> Darling, I've been looking for you all over. Where have you been? Uh, um, Desiree, uh, this is my, um, well, my, uh... Ah, uh, yes. You must be Richard's childhood friend. Yeah, yeah. Miss Cassie, is it? The one he refers to as Piglet. <laughs> Goodness. And am I correct in assuming you're Lady Desiree? Precisely. One hardly forgets a name as memorable as mine. Oh, I completely agree. As a matter of fact, I have a goat named Desiree. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything all right, my dear? Everything's perfectly fine, Mama. I was just giving Lady Desiree a most stimulating account of our goat. You know, the one with golden fur, odd blue eyes, constantly craving attention from the other goats. You remember, don't you, Papa? Whatever you say, Pumpkin. George! <gasps> what? You didn't expect me to play nice, did you? Come along. The story's just getting started. <laughs> 